In the shadows of ancient mountains and within the depths of the oldest forests, legends of the most powerful creatures to ever roam the earth have been whispered through the ages. These aren't just tales of beasts, but of gods, monsters, and guardians that shaped the very fabric of existence. Dragons, in their breathtaking splendor, command the skies and the lands below, weaving between the realms of mortal awe and dread. These majestic creatures, with wings that eclipse the sun and breath that can either forge empires or lay them to waste, embody the raw forces of nature itself. Join us as we embark on an epic journey across continents and through time, uncovering the tales of some of these majestic dragons. Norse mythology is full of gods and giants, divine creatures, but there lurks a creature so immense, so fearsome, that its very existence threatens the world itself. This is Jormungandr, the Midgard Serpent, a dragon unlike any other, encircling the entire Earth, biting its own tail. Born of the trickster god Loki and the giantess Angerboda, Jörmungandr was cast into the great ocean that surrounds Midgard by Odin. As foretold by the seers, Jörmungandr will release its tail at the onset of Ragnarok, rising from the depths, causing the ocean to swell and the land to be washed away. It is then that it will face its destined enemy, Thor, the god of thunder, in a battle that will shake the foundations of the cosmos. Their clash is legendary, Thor, wielding his mighty hammer Mjolnir, strikes at Jormungandr, inflicting wounds upon the colossal serpent. Yet Jormungandr is no less formidable, spewing venom and coiling around Thor with its massive body. This battle of titans is not just a fight for survival, but a fulfillment of destiny, where neither emerges truly victorious. In the end, Thor manages to slay Jormungandr, but walks only nine steps before falling dead poisoned by the serpent's venom. Jormungandr, the mightiest dragon of the Norse pantheon, serves as a testament to the power of myth to inspire Awe, to teach, and to endure. In the Slavic folklore, there is a mystic creature of unparalleled terror and might. This is Zeme Gorinich, the three-headed dragon, a being so fearsome that even the bravest warriors hesitate to speak its name. Born from the darkest depths of ancient magic, Zmei Gorinich stands as a symbol of chaos and destruction, with three heads, each capable of spewing fire hotter than the forges of the underworld. This dragon has haunted the nightmares of the Slavic people for centuries. Legends tell of Zmei Gorinich's reign of terror, how it would descend from its mountain lair, bringing fire and devastation to the villages below. It demanded tribute in the form of gold and the fairest maidens, leaving despair and destruction in its wake. But these tales are not only of fear and loss, they are also of heroism. One such legend recounts the epic battle between Zmei Gorinich and the noble warrior Dobrynja Nikitic. For three days and nights, the earth shook with the fury of their combat, until at last the hero emerged victorious, freeing the land from the dragon's scourge. Yet even in defeat, the legend of Zmei Gorinich endures, a testament to the eternal struggle between light and darkness, order and chaos. It embodies the indomitable spirit of the Slavic people, their courage in the face of the unknown, and the belief that even the mightiest of terrors can be overcome. The majestic landscapes of Wales hide a symbol of power, a creature of myth that embodies the spirit and resilience of the Welsh people. This is Thry Go, the Red Dragon, a symbol of terror and awe whose roar is said to echo through the mountains and valleys of Wales. He is not merely a dragon, it is a fierce guardian of the land, its presence inspiring both fear and courage. Legends say that its breath could melt the strongest castle walls and its flight across the sky would darken the sun. The Red Dragon's ferocity in battle was unmatched. One of the most famous tales of Thry Go is its epic battle with the White Dragon, an invader that sought to claim Wales for its own. The two dragons fought with such fury that villages trembled and the land itself was torn asunder. In the end, it was the Red Dragon that emerged victorious, 
securing the future of Wales and its people. Today he stands as a proud emblem on the flag of Wales, a reminder of the nation's bravery and tenacity. It is a symbol that unites the Welsh, a fearsome dragon that guards the land and its heritage, a creature of legend that embodies the heart of Wales itself. Vietnam Pantheon is also home to a unique creature, a guardian of water and a symbol of strength and endurance. This is Long Quy, the mythical turtle dragon whose story is woven into the very fabric of the land and its people. With his dragon's breath, he summons the rains that nourish the fields, and with his turtle's shell, he offers shelter and protection to all creatures. Unlike the fearsome dragons of other lands, Long Kwai is revered not for his might, but for his benevolence and his role as a custodian of life-giving waters. Legend tells of a time when Vietnam was gripped by a severe drought. The rivers ran dry, the crops withered, and the people prayed for salvation. In their hour of greatest need, Long Ki emerged from the depths of the sea, his eyes gleaming with compassion for the suffering of the people. With a mighty roar and a beat of his powerful wings, Long Kui summoned the monsoon winds, and rain began to fall, gentle at first, then growing into a great downpour that quenched the thirsty land. Wherever Long Kui went, the water followed, filling the rivers, lakes, and rice paddies, ensuring that the people would never want for food and water again. The people rejoiced, their hearts filled with gratitude for Long Kui, who had saved them from despair. They honored him with offerings and built temples in his name. To this day, Long Kui remains a unique figure among dragons, a gentle giant whose legacy is not one of destruction, but of creation and sustenance. In the ancient lands of Persia, we can find the evil Aji Dahaka, also known as Zahak, a dragon born from darkness and chaos, whose very name strikes fear into the hearts of men. Cursed by Ahriman, the spirit of evil, Zahak bore three heads, each with a mind bent on wickedness and destruction. His body, covered in scales harder than the strongest armor, was impervious to mortal weapons, and from his mouths spewed forth venom that could turn fields barren and rivers to poison. The land once flourished, a paradise under the rule of a benevolent king, but fate, twisted and cruel, led Zahak to the throne. With whispers of deceit and promises of power, Ahriman ensnared Zahak, turning him into a tyrant who betrayed his people and his own humanity. Upon his shoulders two serpents grew, a manifestation of his curse, their hunger insatiable, demanding the sacrifice of two young souls each day. Thus the land fell into despair, its people living in the shadow of terror, their cries ascending to the heavens for deliverance. But from the depths of oppression, a hero arose, Feridun, destined to confront the dragon. Armed with a magical mace and the blessings of the gods, Feridun challenged Zahak, their battle raging across mountains and valleys, a tumult that shook the earth itself. With a mighty blow, Feridun struck Zahak, defeating the dragon tyrant and freeing the land from his reign of terror. Yet Zahak's evil was such that he could not be killed, only imprisoned deep within Mount Damavand, where he lies in chains, a reminder of the darkness that lurks in the hearts of men. And so, through the mists of time and the pages of legend, we have journeyed alongside some of the strongest dragons ever to grace mythology. They are symbols of power, chaos, and the untamed forces of nature, reminding us of the thin line between heroism and tyranny, between the known and the unknowable. Which of these mythical dragons do you find the most captivating, and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this voyage through mythology, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more epic tales, and ring the bell to join us on our next adventure.